Hi everyone, um, today I thought I'd do an updated face routine um, because I feel like mine needs updating, it's changed a little bit so um, yeah, I'm gonna get going. Um, the first thing I do is I, okay, well most of the time recently I've been using my <clears throat> Clarins Beauty Flash Balm and I use it as a kind of primer. Um, I don't tend to prime my face because it makes my makeup slide off but since I've had the Cryolan powder I've had good results and this is kind of different because it's more like um, an illuminator than a primer. So I'm just going to get like a little bit on each finger and I'm literally just going to tap it across this side of my face and you're not supposed to rub it in so it still needs to feel like you have product on your face. So it still needs to feel like sloppy <laughs> and slightly damp. Uh, I'm not going to put any on my forehead though because it will make it oily. Um, next thing I'm going to do is use my foundation which is NARS Sheer Glow and I am shade Siberia and I think someone needs to pry this foundation from my cold dead hands because um, I love it. I think it's amazing. Um, so I'm just going to get a bit on the back of my hand and then I'm going to get my Sonia Kashuk um, synthetic brush which is my favourite brush ever at the moment. I'm literally just going to buff that into the skin. I'm just looking up because there's a mirror just up there. I've been using this foundation all the time recently and I have to say I absolutely love it. In the beginning I, I'm a bit resistant to new products when I first get them but when I get used to them um, I genuinely like it will make or break it. I mean I'm pretty instinctive in that I have um, it, I know that I don't like something off the bat but you know this I love. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be buying another bottle of this actually when it's done. So basically I just buff that into the skin. I'm not really very vigilant about how I put my foundation on. I just buff it in and make sure it's all um, a clean finish. Go a bit over the eyelids. I make sure that I buff out any lines and um, that everything's even really. <clears throat> There's no real science to uh, how I put my foundation on. I just put it on. I'm just going to check all my harsh lines are blended. Okay, uh, the next thing I am going to do is conceal my under eye um, area and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. under eye concealer for this. Um, I really like this actually. It does crease a little bit on me now but um, <clears throat> certainly no more than any other under eye concealer I've used. So normally I just dab a bit under and then blend it in. My attractive lips there. Okay, and now the other eye. I know, I feel attractive too. So I've snazzed up my under eye <clears throat> and now I will generally go in with a, uh, a face concealer. Um, I use the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer and it, I just get a bit on my ring finger and then go over any red bits that are on my face. So anywhere that I can find that I'm not happy with. And the next thing I do is I set with MAC Blot Powder, which I neglected to get out because I am 
extremely organised. Um, so I'm just going to use this MAC blot powder and I'm just going to set um, my forehead, <clears throat> just basically my face with a kabuki brush, not really paying much attention. The reason I do this is because I'm actually trying to use my blot powder up. Um, so I do have two powder steps which seems a bit excessive but um, it's for a good reason and also the blot powder it actually really works so um, I really like that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is define my eyebrows and for that I'm going to use one of these rubbishy brushes. I actually really need a new one because this one is really cheap and not very good but I just brush them through and then I get a <clears throat> an angled eyebrow brush and I normally use Concrete Eyeshadow by MAC and I literally just fill my brows in. So I'll show you how I do that. Maybe I'll zoom you in a tiny bit so that you don't get the mirror in the way. So normally I fill in with really light strokes, <clears throat> I start from the middle in case I put too much product on either end and then I'll look like, um, you know in the Simpsons where Maggie has that mortal enemy, the baby with like the unibrow, that's what I'd look like so I try to be really careful about where I put this eyeshadow because it is pretty dark. Um, And then I'm just going to brush them through really quickly, just to check that the colour is all even. And normally I'd set them, but um, I can't because I don't have anything to set them with, so let's try and zoom you back out. And the next thing I'm going to do is quickly dust my face with a translucent powder, which I forgot to do. Um, I'm using the Cryolan and Shine powder, which is like my holy grail. I've never used a powder that's as good as this. Um, so I'm just going to dust that around. And it doesn't make, surprisingly, it doesn't make my face look too powdery, especially after I've already got blot powder on. But, um, I just like it for like extra oil protection. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is put some cream blush on, and I'm going to be using Posy because I've been using it all the time recently, which is a cream blush. I think I just said that, um, and I'm using that on the Mac 130. I'm just going to smile and put a bit on and then give myself a little blend. I am genuinely I have a chronic problem with putting way too much blush on. So I prefer to put <laughs> loads on and then blend it out. I'm much better at that I found. I like posy because I feel like it wakes my face up and um, the days when I'm just sitting around feeling quite casual, sitting around the house, I think it just adds a little really pretty kind of feminine look to the makeup which I wouldn't otherwise get uh, if I wore like a coral blush. Um, so that is pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to lost my other kabuki brush, oh there it is, I'm just going to quickly blend out 
And that is my face routine. Um, hopefully someone found this useful somewhere. If you didn't find it useful, maybe you found it interesting. And if you didn't find it interesting, then I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but this is my updated face routine. Um, so, see you later.